CSCS specialist working at height mock test, 11 questions. Question 1. What should you do if you need to store materials on a flat roof but you cannot fit edge protection? Choose three answers. A. You must ensure that the materials are stored in such a way that they cannot fall. B. You must ensure that you install a cantilever safety net below the roof edge. C. You must ensure that the materials do not endanger your colleagues or others in that area. D. You must ensure that you and your colleagues can have safe access to the stored materials. Question 1 Answer A. You must ensure that the materials are stored in such a way that they cannot fall. C. You must ensure that the materials do not endanger your colleagues or others in that area. D. You must ensure that you and your colleagues can have safe access to the stored materials. Question 2. What should you do if you need to use a safety lanyard but the stitching is damaged? A. Dispose of it and carry on working without one. B. Continue using the lanyard only if the damaged stitching is less than 4 inches. C. Ask for a replacement and do not start working until you have a suitable replacement. D. Continue to use the lanyard and get another one at the end of your shift. Question 2 Answer C. Ask for a replacement and do not start working until you have a suitable replacement. Question 3. If you are using inflatable airbags as a means of fall or rest you must ensure that the inflation pump, A. Is electrically powered. B. Is turned off every couple of minutes to avoid the airbags from overinflation. C. Is turned off as soon as the airbags are full. D. Stays on at all times when there's work being carried out at height. Question 3 Answer D. Stays on at all times when there's work being carried out at height. Question 4 What is edge protection designed to do? A. It's designed to stop materials and people from falling over. B. It's designed to direct rainwater into a specific area. C. It's designed to allow easier access to the roof. D. It's designed to stop unauthorized entry to the roof. Question 4 Answer A. It's designed to stop materials and people from falling over. Question 5. What is the maximum permitted gap between the guardrails on a working platform? A. 300 mm. B. 470 mm. C. 500 mm. D. 520 mm. Question 5 Answer B. 470 mm. Question 6. How should you wear your safety helmet if you need to lean over an exposed edge while working at height? A. You should tilt your helmet backwards which should prevent it from falling over. B. You should tilt your helmet to the side which will help to prevent it from falling over. C. You should ensure you make use of the chin strap and wear the helmet as normal. D. You should not wear your helmet while carrying out these tasks. Question 6 Answer C. You should ensure you make use of the chin strap and wear the helmet as normal. Question 7. What should you do if you discover a rung missing near the top of the ladder you're about to use? A. Use the ladder but make sure you're very careful when going over the missing rung. B. Stop using the ladder and report the defect immediately. C. Flip the ladder so the missing rung stays closer to the ground. D. Use the ladder but make sure a colleague holds the ladder while you're on it. Question 7 Answer B. Stop using the ladder and report the defect immediately. Question 8. Guardrails are essential for safety while working at height, these should be fitted to a working platform when A. There's a possibility you could fall 5 meters. B. These should only be fitted if you need to store materials on the working platform. C. There's a possibility of you getting injured if you fall. D. There's a possibility you could fall 10 meters. Question 8 Answer C. There's a possibility of you getting injured if you fall. Question 9. 
Using the Beaufort scale is vital for your safety while working at height externally because it measures a. How much weight you can store safely on a roof. b. How much weight you can store safely on a scaffold. c. How many people can be on a roof at the same time. d. The wind speed. Question 9 Answer D. The wind speed. Question 10. What are Class 3 ladders? A. Class 3 ladders are ladders which are designed for use in industrial and construction environments only. B. Class 3 ladders should not be used on site as they're designed for domestic purposes. C. Class 3 ladders should only be used by trained workers on site. D. Class 3 ladders are the recommended choice for working near overhead cables. Question 10 Answer B. Class 3 ladders should not be used on site as they're designed for domestic purposes. Question 11 Who should erect and dismantle a scaffold tower? A. Anyone who has worked on a scaffold tower before can do this. B. Only trained, competent, and authorized people should carry out these tasks. C. Anyone with the instruction book in their possession can carry out these tasks. D. Anyone who has witnessed these tasks being carried out can perform them as well. Question 11 Answer B. Only trained, competent, and authorized people should carry out these tasks.